Hi everyone, it's Chad. Welcome to Maker's Bench. So, in this video I'm going to talk about my GoPro mount that I uh, created for the uh, Prusa i3 Mark II. Um, so when I was doing time-lapse videos I was having some issues with, not, not really issues, but um, using the camera that I'm using to film my videos. Uh, it's on a tripod and it's off to the side and you get all these different directions of uh, movement in the time-lapse and it gets a little it's it's okay but it's it's uh, I think it could be better so the other issue I have is my camera doesn't have a power cord it only has a battery that you can has a charger that you can plug in and charge the battery so I would my battery would die before my time lapses were done uh, so one of the, what I did was I went out and got a, a hero 5 GoPro and so I want to use the GoPro for doing time lapses and one of the things that I think is really cool about the GoPro is it's it's pretty small, it's pretty light, and I had the idea that, or not, I didn't have the idea, but I, I saw that on, on some videos, people were had cameras that were like mounted to the bed, so I thought a GoPro would be a good good uh, way to go with that, and I wanted to make a mount for the for my GoPro to put on my on my printer, so that's what I've done. Um, and what I did was I took the uh, basically I took the the GoPro has a has a frame and this frame has you know these little tabs and ears and there's a mount that comes with the GoPro that sticks in there. So what I did is I I made a I made a mount and the idea on this mount is that there's a and I'm going to show it closer here in a little bit but there's a frame underneath the uh, that holds the hot bed, the, the heated bed on so. I thought it would be nice to attach the mount to the frame that holds the heated bed on. I didn't want to just attach it to the bed itself. So I came up with a, basically this is a clip and this clip is going to go inside underneath the underneath the heated bed and then the behind the frame and then there's a bar under there and there's there's this little notch with a clippy thing on here and this this guy slides in and snaps onto the the bar on the frame of the heated bed for the Prusa. Um, and once that guy is on, and I've got a, a connector here that's just going to, actually, before that goes on, there's a clip that goes over this. And what this does is this, and I'll, I'll put it on here so you can see, but this goes up over the bed and keeps the mount from dipping down. Um, it was dipping down a little too much, so I had to add this clip. Uh, and then this connector piece here slides on to the end, and as the bed is moving, um, this guy and then my camera mount is up on here so I can set the camera and and do all that stuff so it's it's not perfect it needs a little bit of work yet and I do want to um, I'm going to continue working on this mount and when it's done uh, I will put it on Thingiverse and uh, or somewhere um, I'll find a place to put it so that people can download it and I'll have an update video when I've when I've done that when I've completed the version that I think I can put out there um, right now I wanted to get one out and I wanted to get get it so I could do some time lapses and start moving on to some other content. So I will um, I will continue to work on this, but right now I just wanted to show what I have here. So um, one of the things I did on this uh, on the on the arm mount, the camera mount itself. So this is the arm, and then the the camera mount itself, you know, slides into the ears. These ears slide in. There's a hole through here. Um, but we gotta have, I need to have, this is the screw that comes with the original mount and there's a threaded piece on that mount that this threads into to tighten it up. So what I've done is I created, I just put a hole in there for the size of a, uh, an M5 nut, cause this is a, a metric, five millimeter metric thread. Um, and I put a nut in here and I made a little spot there. So I just push that nut in, it's a little tight so that it holds and stays. And then this thing just slides in and threads into the nut so um, it works pretty good and uh, what we'll do now is I'm gonna stop for a second I'm gonna switch over I'm gonna switch the camera view so you can see this better I'm gonna zoom in set the focus and I'll show how this this clip goes on so here's the bottom of the printer um, this is the the there's this frame you can see the frame piece underneath here this is what holds the hot end or the, the hot end the heated bed uh, to the frame and then this is that that Y carriage uh, so this frame here and I was looking at this bar right here this is up at the front of the printer um, and there's a space in between the, the heated bed and the frame so this this piece here the the clip piece that I made 
what I do is I just slide it up in here and it's it's a little bit of a it's not a tight fit it's just it it, it is snug um, but you put it under here and all you have to do then is I think the belt might be in the way so you slide it up under here and then you just pull it forward and the little clip if I can get it clips on and then it snaps around the end of this this frame and it's it's on there and then I slide it where I want to have it so uh, let's put this guy up put that in the middle so this piece is here right here in the front so this is the piece that we just clipped underneath um, my little support clip goes on top here and then it goes up and over the the heated bed um, and then for the, these two pieces you got the the arm and the thing here what I did here is I've just got basically two ears there's a hole um, I take another I got another m5 screw and I'm gonna put that through here and then I got a m5 um, wing nut and we just go ahead and tighten that on here So once that's on that guy's locked into place now we can take our uh, GoPro and we stick that into here I'm gonna get that in there so that the holes lined up take my original um, screw from the mount that I got with the with the camera itself um, and for whatever reason I can't seem to just push it through I have to um, thread it but anyway it uh, it is going all the way through and there we go I'm getting there it is tightened so of course I uh, just put the camera on backwards is what I did yep I did absolutely put the camera on backwards uh oh uh, I took the nut out with me that's why it was threading funny I was threading from the wrong side I took the nut out of that hole. There we go. There, I got the nut, we're tightened up. So, you know, the key here, I think, is to make sure that we, you know, put things on straight <laughs> on, the, on the right direction. Um, so, now you can, you know, you can loosen things up and you can adjust this the way you want it to be, um, you know, so that it's on here. Uh, and then you just add this onto here. You get your camera set to the spot where you want it to be set to. Um, I usually take a screwdriver and hold that screw while I tighten this wing nut. Uh, that's something else I'm going to try to work on. But um, there it is on the on the printer itself. I'm going to zoom out here. That's that's focus. Um, and I have some video of that. Uh, running with a print on it so let's go ahead and look at that so the idea here is that the camera is going to stay stationary with the Y carriage and as the bed moves and the part moves uh, back and forth the camera is going to stay the same distance it's not going to have any movement there um, so it's kind of cool uh, like I, I showed you in that video there um, that was running while this was printing um, and so now I have a video, we've got a time-lapse video that we can show of this taken. So let's go ahead and look at that.
Well, I hope you liked the time lapse. I hope you uh, enjoyed this little um, video. I designed the I designed the bracket infusion. It took me a lot of iterations. There's a lot of just little things, getting the holes to be the right sizes for the you know the little screws to go through without um, having to be threaded through all the time. Um, getting the nut hole where I have that captured nut, you know that spot where it's capturing the nut. Getting that to be the right size was uh, a little tricky. Um, and then the other thing is this this piece here that slides onto the, the, the clip. Um, I'm not extremely thrilled with it yet. It's I, I want it to be um, I want it to be a snug fit, but I want it to come off easy. I don't want it to be something you got to really force. Um, I want it to be something that you can you know put up here and, and slide on. And right now it slides on and it didn't uh, it didn't really come off. It didn't come close to falling off or anything while I was running my time lapse. So uh, I think it worked out pretty well. So uh, I printed this thing in uh, Hatchbox PLA and uh, it went pretty good. Um, I think I like the Hatchbox PLA so far. So, um, but I did print this uh, low poly Donkey Kong as a uh, test. Uh, I believe this is. Uh, uh, I don't remember exactly where I got it up, but I will put a link below um, to the low poly donkey where I got that Donkey Kong so that if anybody else wants to print them, they can. But yeah, I'll put a link down below for that. Uh, like I said, eventually I'm going to I'm gonna work on this design a little bit. Uh, I did want to start using it so that I can do my time lapses, but uh, I will make it better and I'll get, I'll get it out there somewhere. So uh, that's, that's what I've got for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Um, and another one other little thing, we're um, getting close. Uh, and subscriber count isn't really a huge deal to me, but um, there's certainly milestones and things like that. When I see that this channel's growing and I'm getting more views and, and people are starting to subscribe, I'm getting very close to 100 subscribers. So um, there might be a 100 subscriber giveaway thing going on that I might do. So. And by might, I mean I'm gonna do it. So I've got I've got the uh, I've got the prize for that um, actually right over there. So um, there'll be another video coming out shortly. Hopefully, if I if I hit 100 subscribers, um, we'll put that I'll do that video and I'll, I'll we'll have a giveaway. So uh, looking forward to that too. So like the video, dislike the video, subscribe please. If you like the videos, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.